Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I've been super quiet and I appreciate you watching this video even though I do not post reg regular regularly. Well, I want to tell you guys about a little project that I started working on. Um, I started my own business, if you will, called Pretty Dead Decor. How it started is I live on a farm, surrounding us are so many farms too and there are a lot of animals and unfortunately those animals die. So we were driving up trying to find our cows because we couldn't see them from the house. So we were driving around looking for them and we came across some animal bones. So I got a great idea because it was really beautiful, it was still kind of intact, um, the bones weren't broken or brittle at all, so I took it back to the farm with me now please side note if you're planning on doing this too please wear gloves because you do need to clean them first before you work on them but that will you'll see what i do in a minute okay so basically what i did is i researched how to clean the bones and i started painting them and planting some pretty things in them kind of giving life out of something that has died so all the bones that you will see today in this video are from animals who have died of natural causes as well as the bones that I get from the farmers surrounding us. None of these animals are being killed for these projects. They are all dead naturally. But first off, I want to show you two of the ones I've already made. They are all for sale. I've made an Instagram, yeah. I've made an Instagram page for them and all the links will be down below. Now the first one, his name is Georgie and this is what I did with him. Beautiful, I don't know what animal this is. <laughs> so, Georgie, <laughs> this is what he looks like, absolutely stunning. Um, painted in black so I used acrylic paint but everything you'll see the whole behind the scenes the whole process in a minute and then my absolute favorite his name is Frank okay how oh, hold on how beautiful is this baboon unfortunately when we found him his back of his skull was a little cracked open so like this entire part was gone so I decided to paint a, uh, to paint, to plant. I decided to plant a desert rose inside of his head. That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Okay, so this is him. He is up for sale. He is unfortunately not up for sale. He is actually a gift for someone. And um, yeah, so if you want to buy Frank as well as Unnamed that I will be making today, please, um, go check out my Instagram. All right, so again, all the links will be down below. And now I'm going to take you to the creepy room in my place that no one speaks of. Uh, I'm kidding, we all talk about it, but it's a super creepy room, super cold in there. <laughs> but it must be um, because I paint dead things in there, but hey. Okay, welcome to the creepy room. That was probably stupid. So this is a super weird angle and I apologize, but you're gonna kind of have to see what I'm doing. Okay, so you're gonna need a few things for this video if you're following along. If not, then just enjoy this little behind the scenes of me painting pretty dead decor. Okay, so you have your latex gloves and then you're going to need an old toothbrush. Please do not use a new toothbrush. That's a little gross. And then some soap. I'm not sponsored, but um, this is the one I'm using because this is the one I found in my closet. In my closet. This is the one I found in the cupboard. Okay. Then you're gonna need some water. So mine's right over here. Let me pick this shit up. I am going to be changing camera angles a lot, it seems, um, because this is a really weird setup. But, I mean, as long as you can see what my hands are doing, I'm pretty sure it's okay. All right, so let's get our gloves on. All right, are you ready to meet? Oh, fuck. I should have, I should have done it. Oh, one second, one second. 
Now I'm down here. Cool. Um, I don't really know what the sex was of this animal, so I decided to name it Sam Mantha. I don't know how to sit. This is not a game I like playing. Okay. The Samantha, absolutely stunning, still in really good condition. Um, I just need to, you know, glue a few things together still, like the teeth. The teeth usually tend to get really loose, so you do need to super glue them, but that comes after the cleaning. So, my idea with it is to paint it black um, after I cleaned it, but you'll see. And then I am going to plant something in here. So I'm still deciding on if I want to plant like or put some cactuses in here or maybe another desert rose because I feel like they're really beautiful because it kind of, you know, goes with the deadness if that makes sense. All right. What's happening now is I rinsed it off and then you have 10 parts water but now I did 20 parts water and then 2 parts peroxide because it needs to soak up now. So it's going to soak in here for about 5 to 10 minutes depending on how greasy your bone is. Mine's not very greasy as you can tell I got it quite clean. It's just uh, for the inside parts where there's still some mud and stuff in there but I'm going to flip this over in about 5 to 10 minutes. So while that stuff is soaking, I figured this would be the best time to introduce you to my new puppy. Her name is Mona. Uh, I just put cream on my hands because I wash them and she likes the taste of cream. So hence that that's happening. So yeah, this is her. She is the cutest little thing. Hey. And um, the story behind her name, my name's Simone, as you all know. And um, my nickname is Mona. So we share a birthday, so she was born on the 29th of July and I am born on the 29th of July. So my mom said we should name her Mona. So that is her name. All right, so I will see you back in the creepy room. So now we, um, we need to wait for it to dry and um, all right, welcome to day two of Little Dead Decor Behind the Scenes. Today we're gonna be gluing and painting. So first up, you're gonna need some super glue in order to paint all the loose little ends and most importantly, the teeth. All right, then you're gonna need some acrylic paint as well as some paint brushes. These are my go-to ones. This one is just to help get paint on a bigger surface. And then the two smaller ones to get into all the little holes and cracks and stuff like that. All right. So, let's get started. So, I just glued the teeth and as well as this little part here. It was kind of loose, so just to kind of prevent it from breaking off or anything like that. Alright, so the gluing is done. So now that we have glued everything together, it is now time to paint. All right, so I'm gonna start on the top and then kind of work my way.
So four hours later and it is finished. And by it, I mean the paint job. I did a few more layers. I didn't just do two, I think I did four, if I'm not mistaken, just to be safe. Um, I took a toothpick and I kind of just put a little bit more emphasis on the scars and stuff that it does have in the bone. And yeah, now we're going to go to the garden and pick out some flowers. I'm not sure if I have any cactuses, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it in there. I'm going to get some fully and then some compost and comp compost <laughs> and put it in there. But yeah, so stay tuned. Day three of the pretty dead decor behind the scenes. Yesterday I realized that I do not have any more cactuses. So today we actually went to Leidenberg and we went to a local flea market and we got some. This is the one that I chose to put inside Samantha's face. So how I did that was take this out and then cut the little bowl in half and then replanted it inside that small little bowl. So in Samantha, I put fully on the inside just so the compost does not fall out. And then I placed compost all around just to compact it a little bit better. Now the only thing left to do is just to dust off all the little compost and sand in between all the little cracks and stuff. So what I do is I have these two paint brushes that I don't really use for paint. They're kind of just there. I think I got them in my sister's um, crayon thing. So I got it for free. <laughs> I'm gonna go around and just take out most of what I see and um, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Alright, so this is the finished Samantha in all its glory. There's still some, you know, sand and compost, whatever, inside some of this little cracks and stuff, but that will, you know, remove itself with time. Let me just do a 360 for you. I'm not good at 360s. Alright. So that is Samantha. Thank you so much for watching and please do find us on Instagram. All the links are down below. Have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.